The Gun Trains Task Force was at the center of one of the biggest corruption scandals in Baltimore police history. Today, the leader of the disgraced unit begged a judge for mercy. Another officer sentence just handed down. WJZ investigator Mike Calvin live at the courthouse downtown with the breaking developments. Mike? Vic, Sergeant Wayne Jenkins got 25 years in federal prison earlier today, and moments ago, Detective Marcus Taylor got an 18-year sentence. He gave a rambling speech to the judge. He says he is innocent. He vows to fight this. She says that she regrets that he feels he wasn't treated fairly. She gave the government exactly what they wanted. Again, an 18-year sentence for him. A judge sentenced Sergeant Wayne Jenkins to 25 years in federal prison. You have a gun and cocaine, probably I would say two and a quarter just by looking at it. The former head of the corrupt Baltimore Police Gun Trace Task Force wept and apologized for crimes that prosecutors say included at least 10 armed robberies, planting evidence, falsifying overtime, and selling $1 million worth of drugs, including prescriptions looted from pharmacies after Freddie Gray's death. Do you have anything you'd like to say on behalf of your brother? No, sir. Jenkins' family declined comment, but he wept in court. Apologizing to his loved ones and the people of Baltimore, including victims like the Davis sisters, whose dad died after Jenkins wrongfully started a car chase. Seven years later, we find out that corrupt cops who swore to protect and serve were nothing more than criminals. He apologized for it, Mr. Jenkins, but it still hurts. It still hurts. What did you think of his apology? Did you think it was sincere? I believe, I believe it was sincere. Do you trust the police department after what your family has been through? No, sir. No, never. Can anything change that? I don't think so. Not now. Federal prosecutors say the Gun Trace Task Force was a criminal gang, describing their corruption as breathtaking, saying officers were greedy and arrogant. They wanted the maximum sentence for Jenkins, 30 years, to send a message. In sentencing Jenkins to less time, the judge said she believed he accepted responsibility and regretted what he'd done. Do you think this sends the right message, this sentence? It should. If it doesn't, it's something wrong, something really wrong, if this doesn't send the right message. There are more than 1,700 criminal cases in Baltimore City that have been impacted by the actions of these officers. Both Jenkins and Taylor will serve a period of supervised probation after their eventual release. Live at the federal courthouse, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Detectives Evodio Hendricks and Maurice Ward will be sentenced tomorrow.